Hey everybody, it's your girl Essence Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is part two, two of my entire purse collection video. Uh, thank you all again for watching. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Subscribe, comment down below if there's any bags that you want to see a slower look at or anything like that. Let me know and I'll do a, a, a separate video. I emptied, took all the bags off the shelf so we can just make it a little bit quicker but i'm just gonna go because we got still have a lot first bag this one i just thrifted um uh, from prime thrift in waldorf maryland this was 9.98 it was not a sale on sale but i really wanted it and i'm going to take this strap this strap off i don't care for the strap but the bag is what i liked uh, the bag is what i like and it just kind of opens like that um, this won't be something I would wear a whole lot just because I would feel like it's really delicate, but yeah, we like this and I'm just going to look for a different strap and we're going to do something else with that. That's the first one. Next is another thrifted bag. This is my Furla snake print. What I didn't know and I discovered because I did wear this to work was that this is why you got to look in the pockets. It has a little care card here. authenticity card and a dust bag how about that but yeah i didn't know <laughs> which isn't too surprising because i don't look at stuff but anyway so there you got the inside like that next is my dooney and burke olivia satchel in the gray or elephant color um it's like that mm, stuff i can't do that it hurts my ears but really love this. I got this uh, years ago as a Christmas gift from a friend of mine. Next is this thrifted fossil bag. Um, black and white. I've I've really thought about letting this one go. But every time I look at it, I'm like, I like I like that it's just a, you know, a, a pattern with the leather straps there. It does have room for a strap. It didn't come with one. So I used a different strap and one of the zipper pulls broke. But who cares? It was thrifted. Next is another thrifted coach um, bag. I love the colors on this bag. How different the dark green and then you have the regular green up there. Thrifted this for about five bucks, maybe 10 years ago. This was a second Avenue find. And the last one for right now that was on that top shelf. This was a, this is a cute little straw beach type bag that I got from my boyfriend's mom, another bag that she was letting go because she was going through her closet. And inside is this really cute red, like nylon, poly, I can't think of the, the, the material, but this is red with silver hardware. That's what it looks like on the inside. I got this from Poshmark. Okay, so that's the bags that are on the top shelf. Hold on. All right, next is a bag that i just thrifted and i believe this was in my thrifted video bag uh thrifted video um but it's just this brown leather bag there's no brand or anything it does say made in somewhere i can't see it or make it out but really cute cannot wait to wear this had to had to get this i think that was 15.99 but it was 50 percent off i believe next is my thrifted radley bag radley r-a-d-l-e-y I was like, oh, I don't like this after I use it a couple times. But then I was like, no, you know what? I do. I like the structure of it. Just this black with that pretty interior. Really lovely leather. My coach, Cassie, in the Oxblood color, did a video on this one. Uh, it was one that I wore. I really like this style. The Cassie style is, is nice. Next is a thrifted, another thrifted straw bag. Um, I went from having like no straw bags to having a bunch of straw bags. Why? I don't know. I have used that one a few times. This is a purse um, vintage coach. It's the Coach Baxter that I purchased off of a woman in my coach group. Love this. So, so cute. I got to wear that one. Next is, oh, I'll show you. Um, This is a thrifted. My thrifted, I, I used to grab for this one a lot. A lot, a lot. I don't have anything that says the name of it. Oh, wait. 
This is the Soho leather satchel in the uh, British tan color. Really cute, super soft leather. And the last bag that's inside of this one is one of my coach um, bags. I'm saying this is the Rambler, but this may not be the name of this bag. Um, I thrifted this years ago. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it, but it's the chocolate brown. This, oh, this leather is so, so soft. All of those bags were inside of this bag here. Because like I said, I do put bags inside of bags because I had so many. But this was not thrifted. I don't remember where I got this from. But yeah, hold on. Okay, next bag of bags is this really cute little Aztec type print, I guess, um, bag that I thrifted. This was thrift. This is City City Soul Society. <laughs> So inside is my Western saddle, Western ribbit saddle bag that I purchased from a lady in my coach group, the chain strap is back there, but this is another thrifted straw bag, round straw bag. Um, but I just, I just wanted this. I wanted it. I saw it up on the thing and I was like, Ooh, yes. Give me. Got it. Good. This is another thrifted little vintage bag, just black and it opens like that nothing you can't really see the shape of it but there's that and then the last bag that's inside is this coach belt bag that i purchased off of um someone in another one of my coach groups this is the saddle belt bag exotic saddle belt bag because of the snake print and there's a the back so that's all that was in there oh my little um Dooney and burke duck coin purse which i used to use a whole lot but i haven't used it in a while so here's that we're just gonna put this in here like that for right now okay next few bags of bags is a dooney and burke like a little tassel i put the things on the tassels to just protect them this is another heavy bag just by itself this is another bag i cannot wait to wear because i did not wear it at all but i got this off of poshmark i believe it's a tassel pocket satchel and it really pretty green and it's got the pink interior next is this lucky brand i think lucky yeah um thrifted bag I got from one of these thrift stores. I think it was Salvation Army that I went to. And yeah, the guy didn't have a price on it. The store had just opened, so he gave it to me. It was like $5. I said, okay, I'll take it. The last, but nope, nope. This is my aunt's bag. This was a convertible wallet. I think it's called Crossbody Clutch. All wrong and loud. And the last thing that's in here, oh, is this little Dooney and Burke little Calvary belt bag. So I got it in green. I also had it in like a cream. I gave that one to my mom. So it's got the little thing for your belt. It also has uh, holes for the strap. The strap is on the inside. That is all that's in that bag of bags. I'm trying to put things away as I pull them out because I have a lot and I don't feel like I'm already trying to clean up in my home and I don't want to have extra mess that's not necessary. All right, next only bag that's in here is the bag I purchased for myself a few years ago for my birthday. Y'all, I always swear every time I look at this, I forget the name of it. I think this is the Madison um i'll try to remember to put it up on the screen but it's in the color wine with the the um the gold with the chain strap with the the leather intertwined but i did get this from macy's on sale a couple of summers ago like i said this was a birthday present to myself next is this bag i did a video on um Got it off of eBay, the Coach Hampton something, Hampton Watercolor Hobo. Really cute, really, really cute. 
story to this and I told it in the video that's what that and then we have probably one of the most expensive bags that I got second hand like out of off of one of my coach groups um but it is the coach calf facet trope or troop love the colors in this the leather strap or the chain strap with the leather and the twine i really need to wear this bag and i will think i'm gonna try to make myself wear it next week at work there you go i don't i don't have like there's only a few bags that i can say oh i would only wear that in the summer oh i would only wear that in the spring that's just me some people just feel like certain colors for certain years i don't i'm at the point that i can't say i don't want to <laughs> i need to wear the things i got next we have this really pretty purple coach um little tote it's the lunch tote in the color berry purple and i thrifted this one from goodwill she still looks in really good condition with silver hardware hold on next is another bag of bags coach dust bag with a bunch of bags this bag is my Etienne Agner bag. I love the heck out of this bag. I had it to donate and I think I'm going to put it back in a donate pile because I haven't worn this bag in a long time, but I wore the hell out of that bag years ago. Like it can go because really I've, I've used that bag a lot. This is my Dooney and Burke little, um, little hobo shoulder. I don't know. I thrifted that as well. Next is my another thrifted coach. This is the Watson bag in the British tan. Looks like that. Really, really cute. This must be all the brown bags. Oh no, I'm lying. It's not all. <laughs> this is a, a a belted belted bag in the British tan color. That was Macari or Poshmark. A thrifted little leather bag here that also has a shoulder strap. And a little wallet to match. This is really cute. Really cute. That leather is very soft. Next is my Coach Patchwork in the um, Coach Saddle in Patchwork. I did a video on this as well. I've worn that uh, quite a few times. And this bag is the, what is this, convertible something? ergo convertible satchel so you can wear it by using the handle up top or the put the strap on it there and then it just kind of folds over this way or you can fold it over that way whichever but it i see it seems like it naturally folds backwards another vintage style with this delicious delicious leather i'm telling y'all so gorgeous okay next bag of bags so we're moving right along here it is my first outlet bag i bought this this is another oldie but goodie um this is i think the hay color i bought this in the the in the um this is the legacy top zipper tote so yeah my first outlet bag my thrifted Dooney and Burke oh I ever since I think I saw somebody what is this called it's just called the zip top clutch but I had saw somebody with this style and I was like this is the style this is the color that I wanted as well and I wasn't able to find it in in, in condition that was a like to my liking but we got her another thrifted coach this is my Chelsea uh chelsea bag little satchel little bag here i i did wear this a lot one one summer i felt like i was always grabbing for it just because i think it was just easier for me to get to and then the last bag that's in here which i have done a video about is my etienne agner uh little um bag <laughs> i can't talk okay hold on okay we did all of the bags on this shelf now i'm going to do the bags that are on the i have another shelf little plastic unit it's like five shelves this one was four this one is five 
we're going to do the bags I had up top, which is mostly my coach bag. But this bag, actually, I want to keep over here. This is a bag. It's my forever bag. My mom made this for me. I did a video on this, but she did it uh, for a masquerade party that I was going to in October. It's my forever bag. So these are all bags that I got from people in my coach group or online like second hand anyway we have this beautiful beautiful gorgeous blue like two shades of blue so it's like a midnight navy and i'm not sure what color blue that is with the little puffy seeds up here this is a parker exotic bag so so cute and this is the this is a bag that i thought that was black um when um it was online but yeah so so cute I need to hurry up and wear this one. I might have to need to go somewhere and wear it. But anyway, that's that one. Purchase off of a woman in my coach group. This one, oh, I just showed this one. I, this is another one I purchased off of a woman in my coach group. But this is the, um, I'll put it on the screen because I cannot remember that fast. But I did just do a video on this bag, so I'm not going to go too much into detail because, uh, yeah, I literally just did a, a video about it. Next is, oh, my Coach uh, Cassie, regular size Coach Cassie in the multicolor with the blue, that little creamy tannish like a brownish there this one was makari or poshmark not quite sure of which one next oh this is the coach jesse camera bag is that what it's called i think that's what it's called but in the this tan with like the nickel hardware here this is a very big bag i need to make sure that i keep this out so that it can be worn with the strap on the inside I need to like really leave this out so that I can wear it yeah there you go it's pretty big it is pretty big as you can see you gonna get everything you need in this bag there's that one Next is, this is the, dang, I was doing so good with, with Cody. This is the Coach Cody, Cody shoulder in the tan rust color with the signature there. Really cute. Cannot wait to wear this one. I think I, this one, I, I purchased this off of a woman in my coach group because I just like that it was different. Nobody was really talking about it. A lot of, some people have complained about just this. You know, if you wear with the strap, does it come with the strap? Yeah, people don't like that this, the top handle doesn't come off. But you could wear it up here, you know, obviously not with the sweatshirt, but you could wear it up there. But like I said, because this kind of always just kind of lays, for me, I don't see it being a, a huge issue because a lot of times I don't wear my bags back to back to back during the week. So it, they, they would get rotated out oh this is my uh coach mm, why can't i remember the names of these bags oh my goodness uh, this is another bag purchased um from a woman in my coach group oh, i'm so mad i can't remember the name of it but i got this at a steal of a price because she didn't have the strap for it and then she had the um the coach the tag had little embossing on it but i was like i don't care i'll find the strap which i did um i did find one a guy was selling one in my coach group so i bought it same color it's a little off i think next these um i'm coming to the end of the bags that are in dust bags that's really the only difference this is the coach tabby 26 uh metallic tea roses there i really like this bag i wore this for I was about to say Thanksgiving for Valentine's Day. Really cute bag. Holds a good amount, too. I like this style. And they're actually coming back now with the regular 
uh, coach tabbies, not the pillows. Last purchase from, or that's, I should say that has a dust bag, is my Mango Riley bag. Oh my God, I just love this bag. I love this bag. I don't know why I really, really love this bag. It's the color for me. It's the leather, little leather detail on that, on the top handle. It's an all leather bag. The inside is all leather. Oh yeah, the strap. I was about to say, what? The strap is here. It had its own little dust bag, but yes. Coach Riley in the color Mango. So that's another bag that I purchased off of someone in my coach group. All right, hold on. All right, all right. I'm trying to get through. I'm trying to get through a class. Next, we have this Dooney and Burke bag that I purchased online. Um, don't remember the name of it, but I bought it as a bundle with another coach bag. And inside this bag, I actually have my little coat, uh, Dooney and Burke mini brief. I think it's called Baby Brief. And I bought this off of Poshmark. The strap is in that little section there. Really cute. I've used this bag quite a few times. Very easy carry. Really like it a lot. This is that... That's a, um, you know, run into the store. You don't need anything but keys and, you know, money. Date night. It could even be like a girl's night type thing going out dancing. But anyway, I have this little shell bag here that I bought a few weeks ago from the thrift store. This was $4.99, but I think it was 50% off, but it might not have been. But $4.99, I just was like, this is so cute. I don't know where I'm going to wear it, but I got it. Next is my Coach May shoulder bag in a color block, Beachwood color block. Um, saw someone on YouTube. This is suede. This is not microfiber, y'all. This is when Coach was like, yes, we're going to give you suede. Um, and it is one of the few bags that I keep stuffed. Amazing. But yeah, one thing I will say about this is this C right here, she heavy. This a, This is a weapon. This is a weapon. So be forewarned and please be careful. That is heavy. But love this bag. Holds a lot. We'll go through my rogues. I have my rogue 17 in the color uh, peony. No, that is not the color. Primrose. Rogue 17 in the color primrose. I got this off of Macari. Then inside is just this small little um, wallet that is... What brand is this? Margo, Mar Margo, New York. Um, cute little wallet. I use that one a lot too. The strap for this is on the inside. Next is my Midnight Navy Coach Rogue shoulder bag. Love this bag. Love, love, love this bag. Like I said, it's in the color Midnight Navy with the C's. All-time favorite. I think I say that every time I show it. Next is my Rogue 25. This is the first, my first Rogue 25 in the Beachwood color, um, Beachwood color block. I purchased this off of um, mm, Tradesy. So it does have the hang tag and it does, it did come with the clochette. And this is suede, like that mustard color suede. Next is my Rogue 25 in the color dark denim. This one is also a purchase. It does have the dust bag in there. Um, uh, who was this? I don't remember if this was... I don't remember. Poshmark or Macari. One of the two. Oh. <laughs> Next is my Coach Rogue in the color Hay with the snake print uh, handles. It does have the hang tag as well as the clochette. And dust bag in there. The last rogue shoulder is my I'm sorry, the last rogue is my coach rogue satchel <laughs> in the oxblood color. I love that bag. Only worn, I've worn it a few times. It's really big. We have the uh Georgie saddle in the color kelp. I have um that was this was retail, the rogue. Satchel was Poshmark or Macari. This is the Coach Laura bucket in the color pollen. 
It has the straps on the inside. It's all leather on the inside. That was purchased off of a woman from my coach group. This is my Danier Dover, Do Danier Dover bag. It's this orange doctor style bag. It's really big. It holds a lot. It has a strap on the inside. You have a pocket back here. This, this could be a weekend bag to be 100% honest. You can fit a good amount in this bag. It's got all kinds of pockets on the inside next we did a video on this is my coach wayfair small i'm sorry not coach this is dooney and burke clearly got the duck um yeah my dooney and burke wayfair small and then i did a video on this as well oh my god i gotta wear this this is my newest one of my newest purchase online from someone in my coach group this is the coach rowan satchel in the multicolor color block love this just just the colors in there for me next we have my michael kors manhattan bag i've shown this one a few times i've worn it a few we have my cassie coach cassie in the size 19 this is the color block on that one this is my uh Gaiuti leather black leather thrifted bag nothing like it's just that's just what it is and the last bag on that on uh, from those few shelves is my dooney and burke buckle satchel i think it's called i don't remember this is one that i thrifted this is my first thrifted leather dooney and burke bag and i i got a really good deal on it and i really 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 love this bag be right back all right down to the last two shelves we're going to go through this quickly as quick as possible again or well, not again Thrifted Dooney and Burke signature bag. Um, I think, do I have anything in here? I do. I have two bags in here. Yes. Dooney and Burke thrifted satchel bag or whatever. This is my coach drifter in the color oxblood. The straps are on the inside. This is a thrifted little camera bag in snake print um, color or print. First camera bag. And that's when I kind of knew. I was like, hey, I actually like... This camera bag style it's kind of and as you can see those two bags fit nicely <laughs> inside this one bag so that's what i try to do next is a bag that i got with uh a ch or as a trade with another woman in my coach group this is the trope exotic we just won't say it if i get if i remember to put it on the screen i will but this was a bag that i did a trade for um, it does have the hang tag. Next is my coach, um, Zoe Carryall in the snake print exotic because of the handle and what's on the zipper pull. Really cute bag. I gotta use this one. Really cute. We have the coach Molly Tote in 25. I love this little mini hang tag. But I, this is another bag purchased off of a woman in my coach group. Next is the Coach Lane Satchel. Lace? Ace. 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 Coach Ace in the uh, Midnight. Ooh, it looks so pretty on screen, but it's definitely not that color. It's more on the screen. It looks a little bit more purple. This is more like a bluish, like a navy blue, because I do think it's dark navy with like the whip stitch. This was Mercari or Poshmark. I have two of the same bags, which is the Carry All Tate Tote. I feel like there's a name in front of it, but I, <laughs> I can't think. But this is the one in the Amazon green. And then we have it again in the Oxblood color block. This one was retail purchase. This one I purchased off of a lady in my coach group. Next is this Banana Republic uh, Burgundy little tote bag. I got this a few years ago. And inside of that is a... Oh, this is my um, pillow tabby. Which I got before Christmas uh, off of a lady in my coach group. Next is this Dooney and Burke. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I'll try to remember to put it on the screen. But I thrifted this. Uh, it's like a, a jean or denim style 
here with the regular, you know, tan, which will eventually fade the more I use it, which means I have to use it. And the last bag in my collection is one that I purchased from the consignment shop a few on my thrifting tour. Um, but this beautiful, beautiful green, I have to use this one as well this year for sure. Uh, but I call it my fake Hermes or my Hermes lookalike. It is stuffed with just a pillow. But yes, this is the one that I got from off of my thrift and tour from a consignment shop. My first consignment purchase. Um, yeah. So, that is all the bags, I believe. I don't think I'm missing any. And if I am, then that's okay because they're my bags if, I'm, if I am missing. But I think I got everything. And like I said, I, am, I did uh, donate and distribute some before. So some of the ones that you might have seen in the video, they are not in this one because they're gone. I may do some more purging. We'll see. We'll let go because that's what I do. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.